So the playlist editors sent me a bunch of songs. I listen to about two or three seconds of each song and I say, okay, this sounds interesting. This sounds interesting. And I discard about 90% of the playlist they gave me. Um, I know Moonbear was on there. I didn't like her latest song with uh, Sari. Uh, if you've heard that song, I really wish Sari did not sing the the chorus of that song, but rather the pre-chorus because it's it's too high and I don't see the color of her voice. Uh, it's just too high of a tone, and I, I'd really like to. I like it when Sari goes a little bit low and give some variation, but uh, it really didn't showcase her, her talent. So, not really thrilled with that release. Um, it's not terrible, but uh, eh, we can pass on that. But this song sounded pretty interesting uh, by Bam Bam. Bam Bam is from GOT7. And I trashed his song before, solo song. It just seemed like a, a very uninspiring debut, uh, a solo debut. And consequently, I got trashed on Twitter. I guess Bam Bam is uh, from Thailand. So they were calling me racist because I'm Korean. <laughs> like, it's not a fight. It's not a battle between nations. We're not competing, all right? You're just listening to music. You like it, you like it. <laughs> There's no hidden agenda there. No racism, all right? Just music uh people just take things a little too seriously imagine that like just <clears throat> in real life yo eh, this song's not that great and then just like this little girl coming after you like oh f you up come here you mf -er. like that's how they act on twitter so <laughs> imagine that playing out in real life uh Anyways, let's, uh, I'm not racist. I like all Koreans and Asians and all people of the world. Um, doesn't matter their skin color or their passport, okay? I just put the headphones on and I will tell you if I like it or not. That's it. Nothing else. And we're going to do that now. Who are you? Machi Mirogata. But I like you, like to fight you. None get out of someone else in mind. I feel like I'm not myself again at a fall. Or would you pick me up off from the ground to dust off? from top of the stairs do you even care oh my god that just pierced me Sugi. take my heart away would you um I was the first verse the this is very unique uh, the setup of the song and I thought it would be very cliche I thought he would repeat that uh verse in the beginning and then i was gonna be disappointed but no it just went in um great beginning uh great matchup between these two the contrast of voices and sergi's voice is a delight we're gonna listen to that again actually let's just go back to bam bam the beginning fight you none get out of someone else in mind I feel like I'm not myself again at a fall Or would you pick me up off from the ground to dust off? from top of the stairs do you even care? Don't change. Don't change the vibe. The vibe is perfect right now. If 
If you gonna say what I think, go ahead and say it already. I love how they just took away that bass, the, the beat. And I think of you all the time. One and then dead or whenever you drive. They got chuck on one at the nung go kata. So can you see me Gonna say what I think, go ahead and say it already. Okay. All right. Today, I don't feel like being a racist. I like this song, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, wow, this is very well done. This is very tasteful. Um, this is what I want from solos. I don't want a continuation of that group sound, you know? I want their individual character in their songs and here this is a big departure from their regular releases as uh, god seven as a group this is more complex more deep in emotion uh, the sounds the production levels are higher it's just it's an elegant song isn't it um their voices mesh up so well i really like that baseline that that baseline is the kind of baseline with um what's that song i like uh, Ways of Blue, uh, Magic Jordan. It's 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 in that mold, you know, a really deep bass that really doesn't uh, that just highlights the other sounds and just just fills up the uh, the song. Um, there is, if I had one complaint, I think there's too many too little syllables uh, in the chorus part. It's just a little too simple. I would like a couple more syllables in there to make it a little bit more complex. Um, which you will probably, uh, you'll notice because we're going to hear the song uh, one more time. What else did I like? I like, I like how they took out the beat and then put it back in. Um, it just resets the mood and just gives you another rush of emotion, uh, as, uh, it starts and stops, stops and starts. Uh, let's get back into it. The beginning, when I said, I don't. I'm I'm glad that I didn't uh, repeat the first verse. Normally, these kind of verses in the beginning, they will repeat, and I'll get sick of it already. But they didn't do that. It, that's a really cliche K-pop kind of move, and they didn't do that. Just watching the beginning too. Didn't you expect another repeat of that? That's what I mean. 
someone else in mind. 너란 꿈을 꿔. I feel like I'm not myself again at all. Would you pick me up off from the ground to dust off? 도대체 난 어디에 떨어진 기분 from top of the stairs. 그 일은 나를 do you even care? 난 잘하고 있어. 아직 너만 몰라 방방 나고 있어. 널 위해서라 도겨보주고 싶어. 그저 사랑이란 짙은 허상 속에 빠져있지 않게. All right, we're gonna get a little bit technical here. I need to stop to explain a lot more in detail, but I know a lot of people don't like it when I stop in the middle of a song. But if I want to get really detailed here, here when Sergi comes in, there's a really deep bass line and one piano and her voice. That's, and it makes it so extra dramatic. And she has a very emotional, uh, beautiful, like emotional voice. And it's a delight. So the bass line, a deep bass line and a piano, that's all it is, check it out. Yeah. 떨어진 기분 from top of the stairs 그 일은 나를 do you even care? 난 잘하고 있어 아직 너만 몰라 방방 나고 있어 널 위해서라 도겨보주고 싶어 그저 사랑이란 짙은 허상 속에 빠져있지 않게 if you're gonna say what I think, go ahead and say it already. Mm. This is where I'm saying that it lacks one or two syllables more uh it, it needs it uh who are you like a labyrinth and this part right here is where i think i would like one or two more syllables in the in the song <laughs> Good job. I'm glad uh, I uh, ran into this song. Very good. This song is called Who Are You by Bam Bam, featuring Sugi from uh, the group uh, Red Velvet, who is actually uh, an extraordinary singer on, on her own. Um, as a grade, I'd probably give this 90s, 90, 96, 95, 96, right around there. Yes, I like it. I like the dark tone, but I don't like the simplicity of the uh, the chorus. Who are you? You see, they're extending those notes a little bit. I would like to, them to sp split up those notes and add some more words in there. 
to add some more complexity. That's what I mean. Um, I don't know if you can understand what I'm what I'm trying to get get across. Um, yeah, because that's the main part of the song. And who are you? That just slows everything down. And just I I I want more complexity in the chorus. That's all. Like the only way I can phrase that. <clears throat> Okay, uh, yeah, 95, 96, very good job. Uh, I am not racist. Uh, good job. Good job. So they should sing, who the hell are you? <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> um, I only know how to listen to songs. I don't know how to write them <laughs> i will tell you good bad good bad and i've always done that as a little kid like an annoying little kid to my dad no dad this no 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 i don't like this i've always been like that to my dad like an annoying little brat ungrateful little brat who doesn't know where his food comes from <laughs> that was me 